Okay, so we're about to construct the Wellington here. So you can see basically this is the beef that's been prepped. We took uh, uh, Chateaubriand, we seasoned it with salt and pepper, seared it, um, smeared it with mustard and some thyme, wrapped it in a duxelle, which was mushrooms and uh, garlic, shallots and thyme, sauteed in butter and olive oil uh, and blended. So it was like a paste. Um, and it's also wrapped in prosciutto. So now this has been chilled, so it's not gonna warm up the puff pastry. And Jessica's gonna basically take this and put it on the puff pastry that she rolled out. We're gonna roll this bad boy up, stick it in the oven, and it's gonna be delicious. Oh my God. A lot of liquid. Wonder where that came from. The other one didn't have that liquid, huh? It did. But oh, it did? Somehow. Tried, so mushrooms obviously have a lot of liquid. There are a ton of mushrooms and basically to make a duxelle, we uh, uh, food process everything. So you grind it up fine and you... Um, you know, this might be, it's definitely shorter than the other one, but I think it's, it's wider. Okay, so now you're gonna see Jessica's true skill as a chef where the pastry, the puff pastry is actually not quite big enough for what we need, and yet somehow she's gonna magically make it work. Now what's interesting about this is that there's no pinching involved here. It's not like making a pastry. You're actually just creating a seam, and then it's gonna be sealed with the egg wash. And then the seam is actually gonna be on the bottom of the, chet, uh, the beef wellington, so it won't, be, uh, it won't be ugly as it bakes. See, perfect, Jessica. Look at that. All right, now the key here is uh, the egg wash is going to keep it together, so I think... Ugh, do you need me to do that, Jess? Um, no, I th it's fine. I think um, this pastry is getting a little soggy. That's all right. I might need to insert myself past the third wall and dive in and help seal this bad boy. Uh, Jess? Yeah, I know. Okay. It's opening up. Okay, you want me to do this? All right. With one hand, my left, no less, I will take the egg wash. Oh and as Jessica creates a seal, I'll basically put the wash on. on. You, you know what, Jess? When, last time when we did this, just create the top seal first. Don't worry about the sides yet. Yeah. Okay. You're not really supposed to pinch because you're not really getting puff or you're pinching, but... But no one's going to know, especially not our viewing audience. All right, let's get, let's get the ends. Oof, that is a mess. It's all right, it's all right. Really it'll, delicious. it'll taste delicious when we cook this bad boy up. All right, let's, uh, God. okay. I think we might have um, overestimated how much we would need to feed us. We, we've made two of these, and in fact, one of I these... I am not included in that we. I think out. Mom might have overestimated. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, let me, let's just... Okay. This, this, this is, this is, we're just gonna put this... Yeah. We're just gonna put the seam side down and hope that it magically bakes together. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this, yep. we're going to roll it onto this, and then we're going to cut these things, and then we're done. And you can see that it's actually looking quite good right now. So... Um, and it's not sealed. Well, it'll, it'll seal up. All right, so we'll be back when we have a finished product.